WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. You'll get all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 333 points, about nine tenths of a percent. The S&P 33, seven tenths. The Nasdaq 1 percent, or 170 points. The Russell 1 and 6 tenths percent, 36 points. The semi's off 1 and 7 tenths, 66 points there. Trendy's down 202, 1 and a quarter percent out there. You've got gold trading up 4 bucks. Silver, 12 pennies. Light free crude trading out at 71 171. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini in the upper left hand corner. What we see here is basically a sideways move over the last four days. Price right now is consolidating with inside the bearish structured area of its daily profile. And that's between 47.17 and 46.49. If we were to see a close below 46.49.50, that would be an indication of price going and targeting the bottom of its daily profile at the 45.37 level. That is not what we have right now. We just have a sideways move. In fact, we've got a sideways move in many of the markets that are on this uh, screen right now that we're looking at. Spot volatilics is trading just above its 50-day exponential moving average. We've been one day below, one day above, one day below, one day above. So we've got a choppy market out here. The NQ, the same thing. Sideways move, price trading in between the center and the top of its daily profile. 16.088 thus far being a support and 16.456 being the resistance zone. Sideways move, just take a look at the U.S. dollar index. It has been trading sideways for a couple of weeks, consolidating with inside its daily profile. Gold is doing the same thing, consolidating with inside its daily and weekly profile. The real level of resistance for Goldilocks is the uh, center of its weekly profile, 1788.20. That's where price needs to close above on a weekly basis in order to get some mojo. Light sweet crude, not sorry, I'm sorry, silver pulled back on uh, Thursday and Friday last week to test the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. Key levels of support, 2182. If we look at light speed crude, bottom left, you'll see a sideways move for the last four trading sessions. So very similar. Natural gas having a little bit of movement, but it's all it's done so far has gotten up to the gap where price had broken down. That's at $4.04 out there. And the 30-year Treasury, it right now is trading above the top of its bullish structure or bearish structured daily profile. That suggests that it wants to go ahead and make a run for its recent high from December 3rd. That's up in the 165 area. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show, but if you're off to start your Monday. Have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.